I'm planning on doing some chicken this evening. So cooking some chicken with some taco seasoning for burritos and tacos and things this evening. Um, so I was going to get a couple of bags of chicken. I have one. Well, I have more than one. So these bins didn't fit on the shelf yet because our shelves are already full and there just wasn't room for more. Uh, until I can dispose of things that aren't freeze-dried. The third set of shelves only has half or a third of those racks are freeze-dried food. The other two-thirds have documents and things. So maybe we can just get rid of old records. I'm going to take one of the bags out of bin five. These are some of the bins from the 50 batch series that I did. I uh, started a year and a half ago or a little less than a year and a half ago. And these are the ones that didn't make it to the shelf. And these are ones that have been added to this later that haven't found space on the shelf. And the reason I'm going to take a bag of the chicken out of this bin is because it's in the video for being freeze dried. And then I have one more bag that I'm going to take and it's actually clear back from our batch nine. It's from September of 2017. So we'll get that bag next. So first this one and I'll mark this one down as being used. So bin five, one of them is going to be used. So we'll change that to seven and put the date. And I'd already sorted through this a little bit. This one was about uh, near the bottom of this particular bin. So we'll take this one out. This was one pound. It needs 160 grams or it should weigh 160 grams if I put this on the scale and it needs 315 grams of water put back in to equal the pound. And I can do that at the same time that we're adding the taco seasoning. So we'll get this one and then we'll go get the other one. So the chicken we're looking for on this one is in bin four and this particular printout we update this every month or two, um, every couple of months. We update it when it feels like it's time to update it. And we have all of the different categories of food on this list. And then we have them sorted by the oldest date first for that particular thing. So this is a uh, chicken and then the oldest one toward the newest one. So we'll get that one out. And it says that it's in the bin in the back of this one and I haven't gotten around to relabeling this yet so I'll get rid of the front portion of it and it'll just have been one two three four and so on um, and we'll label them one through fifty to start with okay so here's one of our oldest bags that we have left of the freeze dried. So it was September 1st of 2017 and we got the machine in mid August of 2017. I think the first batch that we did was after the 10th of August. So 20 days later we were up to batch nine and we did some chicken. We'll check this out. We'll get these upstairs and get them checked out. So we have something from batch nine and something from batch 525. I'll link to the video where we freeze dried these, but this is some of the Costco rotisserie chicken that was shredded. And obviously this is before I started printing the labels, but it still has the batch number and the date. I wanted to add this in here. So 160 grams. This is about a year and a half after, let's see, what day is today? So today's January 26th. This would have gone into the bag on about June 12th of 22 and today's January 26th of 24. So about a year and a half ago, this was bagged and it's 160 grams. It was 160 grams when I put it in the bag. It hasn't added any weight to that. So the bag didn't leak. And this needs about 315 grams of water. And I'm using chicken broth for this uh, from a Costco rotisserie chicken a 
couple of days ago, we'll get that started. And so I don't need all of this for this pack. So I'm going to be cooking this with some taco seasoning for tonight's dinner. Okay, so let's get the oxygen absorber out, and I should have planned for that. I could have put it in the tester to find out how much more it will absorb, just like it would into the bag. I'm surprised every time when it works. I mean, I know that they've been freeze-drying stuff for commercially for 50 years, and I know it always is supposed to work, but for some reason it still surprises me every time it works for me. So then we'll add the chicken broth to that, uh, about half of this, and some of the taco seasoning mix. This went into the freeze dryer September 1st, 2017. It was batch number nine for us. Let's open this one up and check it out. And this is cooked chicken breast slices, so we'll have to shred that up a bit for this particular use. And. Also, you can tell this is one of the original Harvest Right bags. This is one of the bags that came with my machine. Okay. So, got that oxygen absorber also. We'll kind of shred those up a bit before we put those in. Yeah, they have no odor that I can... So many things when they're freeze-dried, you can no longer smell them. I assume that's because of how smell works and little molecules coming off. And it doesn't when it's dry. So we'll shred this up and add it to it. And I don't know how much water this will take or how much broth. So we're just going to have to kind of guess. I could get some idea on the, with the scale. So let me do that. So I did a quick weight check on that, and the chicken in here is almost identical to the weight of the chicken there. So if I extrapolate that out, it should need about 630 grams of moisture. And this is... And this is a little less than 800, so I think it's going to be fine after it cooks down a bit. So we'll kind of shred this up and put that in there. It sure is easy to shred chicken when it's dry. And if there's any pieces too big in there, I can just shred them later. And they'll kind of shred as they get stirred anyway. I'm going to go ahead and add this whole thing. It's a couple hundred grams over, or it's about 150 grams extra, but it's going to cook down a bit. Huh, if anything, that's still dry, so I'll probably add a little bit more. And then that's about two pounds of chicken. I'll add some of the taco seasoning. I'm going to guess the other chicken that I hadn't weighed the moisture out of, that I hadn't recorded that, needs more. It's a lot more chicken than I expected. We'll get that heating slowly, but I am going to add a bit more liquid. Okay, so I'm adding another cup. We'll get it heating. We'll check in on it a little later. We have chicken, we have a shell. I think I'll use the handle. So shredded chicken with taco seasoning and some of this is the Costco rotisserie chicken and then some of this was the six and a half year old chicken uh, from batch number nine Okay, and colorful. Okay, a possible serving suggestion. <laughs> 